If you're serious about leveling up your Salesforce game with AI and real-time data, there are two technologies you need to get your hands on with Data Cloud and Agent Force. And the best part, you can get started with both today for free. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to get set up with Data Cloud and Agent Force step by step with zero fluff. And a massive thank you to this video sponsor, Salesforce. Okay, let's dive in. Salesforce Data Cloud is the engine that powers real-time unified customer profiles. If you want AI agents to be useful, they need access to up-to-date, accurate, and unified data. And that's what Data Cloud delivers. Here's how to get started. As soon as a Data Cloud license is added to your Salesforce org, Data Cloud is automatically provisioned. However, if you're working in a developer edition or a sandbox org, you must manually enable it, so keep this in mind. Also note that if you are working with Salesforce Foundations, Data Cloud should be automatically provisioned. Set up Data Cloud users by adding users and adding Data Cloud permission sets. For a full list with all the details that you need, Salesforce has some handy documentation that you can follow over at Salesforce Help. Why not ask Agent Force about it? When we talk about data spaces, we're referring to logical partitions to organize your data for profile unification, insights, and marketing in Data Cloud. You can segregate your data, metadata, and processes into categories, such as brand, region, or department, and then enable users to see and work on data only in the context of their category. You can also merge and analyze data in data spaces. At some point, you'll need to configure your data, and that's at this step. To connect data sources, review the admin tasks that must be completed first. After they're configured in Data Cloud Setup, data streams can be created for each data source. Find information about all the varieties of data source connectors, their configuration, and data stream setup under Connect Data. Data Cloud Data Model consists first of Data Lake Objects, or DLOs. These are the staging place for each connected data source. DLO data can be transformed or just mapped to data model objects or DMOs. DMOs are great because they can store and reconcile data that is semantically identical from many different data sources. Think of your customer. They live in Salesforce and potentially dozens of other systems. But the Data Cloud DMO for contact can become the central storage point across all of those systems. Data action targets allow you to take action as your data changes in Data Cloud, like sending an email or triggering an alert. To configure your data targets, review the admin tasks that must be completed first, and then follow the documentation on Salesforce Help. Now you're pretty much there. You can enable Data Cloud features using the Feature Manager. This screen is visible only when there is one or more features to enable or disable. From there, you can begin setting up tasks in this powerful cloud and getting stuck in with Agent Force. Agent Force is Salesforce's suite of AI agents designed to complete tasks on your behalf, but only if they've got the right data. That's why starting with Data Cloud is so important. Now, you might already know how to do this, but here's how to try Agent Force today for free. Salesforce has made it easy to get hands-on with Agent Force through Salesforce Foundations. If you don't already have a Salesforce CRM, you'll need to sign up for one. Once you've purchased Enterprise Edition or higher, you have access to Agent Force via Foundations. New and existing Salesforce customers can activate the Foundations add-on for free, which allows you to begin managing your sales processes without any upfront costs. We have a video with the step-by-step -step instructions for getting a hold of the add-on here. Speaking of Salesforce Foundations, did you know that Foundations also gives you access to essential service cloud features? That's right, Foundations will provide you with the robust case management and knowledge-based tools and access to Agent Force to let you easily automate low-touch customer interactions, allowing your service teams to focus on high-impact tasks. Already activated Foundations? Great, you're ready to start experimenting with these new service cloud features for free. For more information, including a demo, head over to www.salesforcebend.com forward slash services, 
which will be linked at the top of the description. Right, back to getting started with Agent Force. Once you've enabled the free foundations add-on, the next step is turning on Agent Force. First, make sure Einstein Generative AI is enabled as it's required for you to get started. Then simply go to Setup and activate Agent Force. Now this is where things get interesting. From here, you can create different agent types tailored to your needs. Personalize them with specific topics, and once they're ready, give your team access. Take the time to play around with what works best. Your agents can only be so helpful if they don't have access to your data. As you begin, monitor your progress and usage to identify areas where you can benefit from upgrading in the future. This will help you make informed decisions and continue to grow your business efficiently. The great thing about getting started today is that you don't need a paid license or full production setup to start exploring Data Cloud and Agent Force. Between Salesforce's Developer Edition and the Agent Force Preview Org, you've got everything you need to get building today. Start small, test real use cases, and understand how these tools fit together. Because AI in Salesforce isn't just about fancy demos anymore. It's about building real, scalable automation that can drive business results. And that's it for this guide. If you found it helpful, hit subscribe and check out our other videos on AI, automation, and Salesforce career tips. See you next time.